Hello everyone, this is Only Light Metals here and we will get directly to the point as I have already explained what this series is about. I put a card on the top corner of the screen if you have not watched its presentation yet. We already accepted our first contract to launch our first vessel, so let's go directly in the VAB. For our first craft, we will only collect the available science on the launch pad. We need a probe and we activate the telemetry experiment. Experiments drain batteries in cannibalism, so we need more electrical power than the probe can provide. We also add all the science devices we can use at the beginning of the game, which are a thermometer and a Mr. Goo. Of course, we enable their experiments. There's nothing more we can do, so we launch the craft. As you can see, our experiments are already running and science that I gently increase in the probe storage. We have nothing to do unless we wait until every experiment is completed. Incredible, we have collected 3.3 points of science. We won't unfortunately be able to unlock a tech tree node at the moment. We need at least 5 points to do that. So we continue with our second craft. This time we are actually going to launch something in the air. We don't have any parachutes at the moment. All our science will have to be collected before impact. We remove the mystery goo because its experiment cannot be transferred at its sample and not data. We pick a solid booster and as the craft won't have a very good aerodynamic shape, we have to add winglets to force our vessel to go forward. We stack the boosters and we don't need any decoupler because we will use a famous trick many players already know in the stock game. We will see that later. For those who don't know the trick, here is the thing. If you ignite a solid booster on which another one is attached, the temperature of the one below will reach what the part can endure and then it will explode. That's a real hot staging technique actually. This technique allows us to bounce significantly in the sky and make our flight longer to collect a maximum amount of data. Speed up the game and go to the impact. Whoa, what a surprise, that was not plain actually. We will be able to collect the data which has not been transmitted yet. We are very lucky on this one. Now we have more than five science points. Let's see what we are going to unlock. We have a choice. Uh, we can unlock liquid engines, because solid boosters, or we can also unlock a gigameter, which means more science, and we can also unlock a decoupler, which will be our first. That's my choice. I'm already interested in getting more science points. If we take a look to the next tech tree node, we can notice it gives access to a stackable probe part, a solar panel, a bigger battery, and our first parachute. Well, we need this one as soon as possible. We need to recover our craft to retrieve more science, to retrieve good experiments, and to collect science points from returning vessel from flight or space. So I make a decision here. I spare all the remaining science points I've left. As we can take up up to two contracts, we can take another one, and I choose a contract which is achievable on the launch pad. A very easy one. It has to do a simple job, so it's a simple craft. I assemble it, I launch it, I take the money, and next one.
Let's go to space. We need a stable, multi-stage craft which can bring us in space. We built a dart ship because it's very stable. We need a lot of wing legs to do so. We need also antennas and we won't put the Geiger counter because we won't have the time to transmit all the science we can collect. Only telemetry and temperature will be run. We use the same decoupling technique as before. jumps nicely in the atmosphere while the data accumulates. I accelerate the video here, but you can guess the data we collect won't be completely retrieved. have an incredible ludicrous amount of 26.5 science points. Hmm, I have a guess on what we are going to do. Of course, we unlock the survivability node mainly for the shoot, and as we have enough points, we can also unlock the basic rocketry one. Now we can make more science in the atmosphere and get it from different biomes. We've adapted our dart design with the new pop part, the shoot and bigger and bigger solid boosters. This time we add the Gigard counter and the goo. We check our staging and let's go. We start with collecting all the radiation experiment on the launch pad before igniting the first solid booster. Again, we have a wait a little bit. As soon as we launch our craft, we pitch to east in order to get a different biome and get more science splashed into the water. one at a time for flying low and flying high situations. We open our shoot high enough to have enough time to collect the experiments we've run in the flying low situation.
then we splash into the ocean. We have enough batteries and a goo left, so it's very good news for our science plants hunt. Thirty-two science points. We are richer than ever. We unlock the general rocketry tech node because this is the one which allows us to reach our first orbit. We don't have enough points to unlock more nodes. A totally brand new craft is needed here. We will only keep the probe, the chute, the thermometer and the Geiger counter and we built our upper stage with liquid fuel tanks and engines. We change the antenna with a deployable one. Under the upper stage, we built our rocket with solid boosters. They provide thrust and delta V for a very low part count and a small amount of money. We keep the winglets, though the upper stage has not a good air profile. We add the solar panel and one only. We'll try to get by on little energy. We have only 5 units of electricity, but that should be enough. Last, we had two goos. We would like to get the low space and the high space experiments for them. At this point, maybe we are a bit low on the overall delta V the rocket can provide. I add a stage with the liquid fuel parts. Here we have 28 parts, a low mass, we don't need any facility upgrade yet. Okay, I forgot my staging. Let's rearrange this. And oh boy. Okay, you didn't see what happened here. And uh, again. Uh, okay, I'm totally blind on the maneuvers here. I don't know how much I must pitched and when regarding the rocket overall thrust, shape, and the 2.5 factor size of the Earth. Okay, I give a try at 30 meter per second with a very gentle pitch. Maybe our turn is a bit low, but well, I deactivate the SAS. The rocket turns by itself and that's actually the best method to maximize the efficiency of our launch. Yes, okay, staging, everything is going well this far. Second staging, we will get a maximum of delta V with liquid fuel engines at this point. I have concerns regarding the altitude and the inclination, maybe I'm a bit low. I re-engage the SAS to force a higher climb rate. At the moment of the game, we don't have the seconds to apoapsis on our display, so I prefer to take a margin rather than risking a failure. Last staging. During the last part of the ascent, I control the inclination regarding the apoapsis and space altitude, which is around uh, 87 km high. When altitude is high enough, we can deploy our antenna.
the map view gives a better appreciation of our trajectory. As I want to reach the space high situation, and I don't actually know where is the limit, I continue with raising the apoapsis. Our apoapsis is still under 87 km, so technically we are not yet in orbit. But we are in space, and we can run our first goo experiment. As we don't have much electricity, I change the orientation of the craft face to the sun. Let's move forward to the space high zone of our trajectory. We lose power, but it's not a big deal. We just need a little push to reach our first orbit. We have really a lot of Delta V left. We have plenty of fuel to avoid a possible deadly re-entry. We shut down the running goo experiment and we run the second one because the first goo is now depleted and cannot collect more science. Goos can be upgraded later in the tech tree uh, to get more experiment slots. The experiment is finished, now we can deorbit and get back home. And we successfully splash into the ocean. Look at all the science we've got. This will surely help to go around the moon, but all things come to an end, and we will see more next time. See you soon, take care, and don't forget to test is to adopt. <laughs>